What's up, bearded warriors? My name is Kyle, also known as Geeks with Games, and today we are playing Stardew Valley. What is Stardew Valley? Stardew Valley is essentially a life simulator, RPG, agricultural sim. Saw it on Steam, and I was immediately reminded of Harvest Moon, one of my favorite game series of all time. So I was very excited to play this, and I was very fortunate that the dev agreed and sent me a key. So we're going to do a let's play of this. There are going to be parts I probably cut out where I'm doing something tedious, where I'm just chopping down a bunch of trees and nothing's going on. So let's get started. Let's start a new game. Let's see. Name. Gotta go with Kyle. Farm name. Okay, so I've always had the habit whenever I played Harvest Moon, we are always Hyrule Farm. Favorite thing. Now, should I be honest and put titties or should I... You know, do something that's more this game friendly. Let's do, let's do hot dogs. Gotta go with dogs, not so big on cats, skin. Okay, where's the whitest person you find? Okay, so that's me, I'm essentially looking dead. I am a redhead, so it is what it is. Okay, hair type. Whoa, whoa. Chrono? Oh snap, It's a lot of different hair types. So where's the receding hairline? Oh, now we're in the females. It's a lot of hair types. 15 per for sex, it looks like. Where's the receding hairline? Because that's that's kind of me. Uh and let's go with let's go with Chrono. Whatever. Shirt. I like all the options so far. This is this is pretty cool. It's a lot of different shirts. Holy shit. I suppose it doesn't really, really matter what we pick, so we'll go with that one. Accessories. Okay, so you know we're gonna be rocking a giant beard. I have a giant beard in real life. Eye color. Doesn't really matter. Hair color. Okay, so how do we make it red? Red. That's, that's reddish, I think. Blue pants? Works for me. Alright, let's go through the intro. This, is that green Santa Claus? With a sword? He's got a sword. And for my special grandson. I assume that's me. I want you to have this sealed envelope. It's a little bit of facial twitching. Oh, God! Hmm. All right. No, no, no. Don't open it yet. Have patience. I don't understand. Is it is it part of your will that I have to open it at a later time? Do you have someone that's managing your, your affairs after your death? There will come a day when you feel crushed by the burden of modern life. So far, so good. But okay. And your bright spirit will fade before a growing emptiness. That's really ominous and kind of an odd thing to say to your grandkids. You should be like, you know, shoot for the stars and you'll do great in life. But okay. When that happens, my boy will be ready for this gift. Is it tree fitty? Cause I ain't giving no goddamn lock this monitor, no goddamn tree fitty. Now let Grandpa Rex bleh, rest. XX years later. Oh shit, your guy works in a call center. Or is he a programmer? Either way, he's a Q monkey. That's unfortunate. Smile, you're with Joja. Joja. Oh, terminated. Look at all these happy folks. That guy's happy. That guy's bored. And then we got a fucking caveman. Why is my desk so dirty? Have a little pride. Oh, there's a corpse over there. This is not a good place to work. And cameras and everything. Yeah, this is like totally a call center. If you ever worked at a call center, holy shit, it sucks. It's a good start if you're just getting like the tech field. I started a call center, but man. It sucks. If you're reading this, you must be in dire need of a change. The same thing happened to me long ago. I lost... I lost sight of what mattered most in life, real connections with p other people in nature. So I dropped everything and moved to a place I truly belong. I've enclosed the deed to that place. My pride and joy. Hyrule Farm. Shit. It's located in Stardew Valley on the southern coast. It's the perfect place to start your new life. This was my most precious gift of all, and now it's yours. I know you'll honor the, fam the family name, my boy. Good luck. Love, Grandpa. P.S. If Lewis is still alive, say hi to the old guy for me, will ya? That's a hell of a gift, but I mean... Yeah, gotta pass it on to your relatives or donate to charity. Alright, so I'm on a bus. 
heading off to Stardew Valley. Man, I'm stoked to play this game. It, like I said before, it really reminded me a lot of Harvest Moon. And I thought Harvest Moon, they were just some of the greatest games I've ever played. Honestly, I thought the, the best one was the PlayStation 1 Harvest Moon, followed by the Super Nintendo Harvest Moon. And then it was kind of a toss-up between the GameCube and the Nintendo 64 one. But I thought those ones were definitely the best. There was a couple PlayStation 2 ones that I thought... There was one that was like total garbage. Robin, what's up, baby? You work out? I do tree fitty push-ups and squats and bullshit. I can't even exercise. I can't even do exercise terms correctly. It's been that long since I worked out. Hello, you must be Kyle. I'm Robin, the local carpenter. She's a carpenter? Damn. Mayor Lewis sent me here to fetch you and show you the way to your new home. He's there right now, tying things up for your arrival. The farm's right over here, if you'll follow me. All right, baby, let's go. This is Hyrule Farm. Uh, need some work. Holy shit, my guy's going nuts. What's the matter? Sure, it's a bit overgrown, but there's some good soil underneath that mess. That's good, so I can grow some potatoes, grow some cows. Cows generally grow underground. You gotta watch out for the cow people's layers. With a little dedication, you'll have it cleaned up in no time. Take a look at our house. It's already got wood there. That's nice. Here we are, your new home. Who's this old guy? Oh, ah, the new farmer. Yeah, he's standing awful close to me. I'm Lewis, mayor of, the Pel of Pelican Town. Okay, the people in Pelican Town generally stand so goddamn close. This is a, I need a personal bubble. I'm from the city, okay? We don't have people that close. You know, everyone's been asking about you. It's not every day that someone new moves in. It's quite a big deal. How many people live in this place? Like, 15? Huh. All right, so you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage. It's a good house, very rustic. Rustic is a nice way of saying old and shitty. I worked for a real estate company for a while. I know what rustic means. Oh, she knows. She knows what's up. Rustic, that's one way to put it. Crusty might be a little more apt, though. All right, that works. R, evade. What? What, what it just popped up? She's just trying to make you dissatisfied so that you buy one of her house upgrades. You know I will. You know I will. Huh. Hmm. Oh, okay. Hmm. It's retired for a long journey. You should get some rest tomorrow. You ought to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. The townspeople would appreciate that. Right on, brother. All right, get out of here. Let me do my shit. I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just place it in the box here. I'll come by during the night to collect it. So this game, good luck. So this game is very Harvest Moon-esque and that's awesome. It, it's been a long time since there's been a good Harvest Moon in my opinion. I, didn't, I thought they stopped making them for a while. All right, so this is a nice little cottage. It's not bad, what do we got over here? Journal, introductions. It'd be nice gesture to introduce yourself around town so people might be anxious to meet you. Okay, so I gotta meet uh, 28 people. Oh, why did I just pick that up? Oh, that's cool. Okay, so we got our item bar at the top that's super useful if you play the old harvest moons uh generally you can only carry like two items on you at one time so it's super useful that i can just switch between all these that's super useful okay perfect and to make it really easy just kind of whoa that's super rad it makes it really easy just to modify this place to look however you want that's super cool to put you right there actually yeah, nope, can't put it right there. You're right there, so when you first get out of bed in the morning, you're right on the mat. All right, what do we got here? Woo! Parsnip seeds. You receive 15 parsnip seeds. A little, here's a little something to get you started, Mayor Lewis. All right, so let's do that. Can okay, watch TV? I'll put you back over here. I don't have a chair, whatever. Uh, fireplace. To put wood in it? Maybe. Probably. That would make sense. Alright, so let's go outside. Okay, so we're now into this shit. What is this? That looks different from the others. We're hunting it down. Whoops. That's what we want. Alright, so fiber resource, raw material source from plants. Alright. 
So, oh, yeah, very much Harvest Moon-esque, and that's just great. This is exactly what I've been wanting. I've been wanting to play a new one for years, just years and years. All the latest ones that I know of, I believe, came out on handhelds, and I really don't like playing handheld games. So that's just fucking awesome that they got it now. They got, well, it's not Harvest Moon, but something similar on Steam. Oh, come back here, you green bastard. Kermit motherfucker. All right, so I'm not going to bother with this place for now. This place is in, in need of a serious overhaul. It just looks like total garbage. Okay. This is a neighbor's house? Somebody's... My neighbor's house burnt down? What the fuck was that? Huh! What is this? I don't even know what that was. What is this? No? Okay, let's do... That. Get out of the way. What is this? What is this? Kyle, wait for my return on the dawn of your third year. What? Isn't he dead? I thought Grandpa was dead. Well, then again, it's, you know, it's like in a movie or a TV show. If they don't show him die, he ain't dead. So this is some nice graphics. I, I love this shit so far. This is great. This is exactly what I've been wanting to play. Every other game I play is just full of explosions and titties and violence and guns and all sorts of awesome shit. But it's nice to kind of mix it up and do something a little calmer every once in a while. So I need to get into town. Trees are all in the way. Ooh, mixed seeds. What's that? Mixed seeds. There's a little bit of everything here. Plant them and see what grows. That's cool. That's cool. I like that. You have no idea what it is. It's just going to grow something. It's going to be cool. Let's see what we got. Right click. Right click. Left click. Okay. So. We got bus stop and Pelican Town. So we already came in the bus stop. We don't need to do that. Can I take these? Ooh, I'm going to take the dandelion. I'm going to give it to someone. That's going to be a pretty girl over here. I'm going to give it to her. I'm going to give her the dandelion. If you know what I'm saying. All right. So we got birdies. Hello, birdies. You know, you're gonna fly up? Oh yeah, they're afraid. Let's see. Who's that guy? You see that guy's crazy hair? I bet this guy's kind of a pain in the ass. He seems like a guy who would be a pain in the ass. Oh, okay. So you can't hold shift when you're trying to talk to someone. Hey, I'm Sam. Good to meet you. Rocking that mullet. That's what I'm talking about, Sam. Oh wait, hold on. What? What was that? What? Wait. I can't talk to him. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, well. Don't know what this is. Help wanted. Nothing posted today. High quality seeds only at Pierre's. No idea what that is. Don't know what that is. Hey, baby. Marnie. What is that? Okay. Ah. Mayor Lewis told me, a, told me you just arrived. I'm Marnie. Hello, Marnie. Good talk. Who's this nerd? Hey, nerd. Harvey, it's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Harvey, the local doctor. I'm just kidding. You're not a nerd. You're a handsome and very attractive man. Hello, it's nice to meet you. We wait. Did I already meet her? Got amnesia. Dog. Dog. Look at all this trash. Look at all this this garbage. Is this Kenny McCormick's house? Oh, it is. Of course. Of course, it's this a little motorhome. Motorhome's got all the trash everywhere. Of course. You're not good enough friends with Penny to enter her bedroom. Oh, Penny. We'll see about that. Who's this? Is this Penny? Oh, Penny, you're fine, but man, you live in garbage. You need to get your shit figured out. I'm going to give you a dandelion. Thank you. This looks special. You're welcome. How about a date? Look at my beard. You can touch it. Touch my beard. Touch it. Touch it, touch it, touch it. And she doesn't want it. So I got my energy bar over on the right. So that's good. In the previous, or pff, I keep comparing this game to Harvest Moon. I'm gonna keep doing that. Sorry, developer, if you're watching, but I'm gonna keep doing it. The other, the Harvest Moon games, they didn't show your energy bar. You, you just, it would give you indications like you would swing your hammer a few times, then your guy would like take a break to start, and he would start sweating, and he'd wipe off the sweat off his head. That's when you knew you were getting on the low energy side 
It's a nice village. Pretty nice village. Ooh, we got a, a semen. There's a semen in here. Oh, Vincent, you're in the way. Oh, a stranger. My name is Vincent. Mama says not to talk to strangers, but you seem okay. Vincent, you really should listen to your mother. Alright, let's go see if we can steal your stuff. Alright, what do we got here? We got a letter. Port card! Oh, Vincent. Vincent, Vincent, Vincent. You're gonna have to work a little harder on those grades. It's D and spelling. Spelling's like the easiest shit you can do. Hey, but at least you got an A in sports, which means you showed up and didn't give up. That's good. Anything I can steal in here? Eggs, bread, carrots, and milk. Okay. This is a nice house. Oh, he's got a guitar. You're not good enough friends with Sam to enter his bedroom. Oh! Can you have gay relationships? That'd be awesome. Uh, who is this? You're not good enough friends with Vincent to enter his bedroom. Uh, I'm gonna guess and probably not with him because he looked like he was about 12. That'd be weird. That'd be super weird. So this is a nice town. People seem nice. They don't, you know, a lot of one-liners. Dialogue's kind of weak, but... What are you gonna do? Why, hello and welcome to our little community, dear. You can call me Granny if you like. Evelyn or Granny? I'll call you Gma. What's up, Gma? Oh, how are you ladies doing? Hello, you must be Kyle, the new farmer. I'm Caroline. How you doing, baby? Oh, Jody, you're looking fine. Oh, you aren't exactly how I imagined, but that's okay. I'm Jody. That's a weird thing to say to someone you just meet. That's super weird. Would you like some fiber? Well, I guess I could always put this in the compost. Ha! <laughs> she did not like that. What about you? Let's see. Do I gotta face you? No, no, no. Oh, shit! I just moved into this town. I'm already pissing off all the girls. My guy is gonna be virgin for life. Eh, he's probably not virgin. Look at that beard! Look at that beard! You can't not get a lady and have a beard like that. It just doesn't happen. That's probably where we're going to wrap up episode one. It's kind of an overview, just kind of checking out the game, walking around, seeing what's around. There's a lot more to see. So if you like the video, like, want to see more, subscribe, all that jazz. Any comments, questions, concerns, you guys know the deal. This is Kyle from Geeks Games. Thank you for watching.